Welcome to the Trucking Safety Council of BC's Trucking Safety video series, focusing on moving and lifting. This video series will provide practical information on how to safely and effectively lift, carry, push, and pull loads to reduce risk of musculoskeletal injuries, such as back and shoulder problems. Hi, I'm Dan Robinson. I'm a Canadian Certified Professional Ergonomist, and I will be discussing how to safely and effectively use mechanical equipment such as dollies and hand trucks in manual handling work situations. This video, Pushing, Pulling and Use of Handling Equipment, provides information on how to safely deal with work situations that involve the use of handling equipment. This includes thinking about the work situation and the load so that you can prepare for and use the best and safest handling methods for the conditions. Always go through the stop, think, act process detailed in the preparing for work video. To lift and move loads, your first choice should always be to use handling equipment, like a forklift or overhead crane, a hand jack or dolly, carts or other wheeled platforms. Determine what is available to you as part of your planning process. To most effectively use lifting and moving equipment, orient the load to make access with the equipment as easy as possible. Reduce the distance that the load will need to be moved. Make sure that you have a clear path with no obstacles, enough aisle width to move the load, and no closed or locked doorways. Level dock plates and place ramps where you need them. Wedge doorways open or have someone in place to open the door for you. Select lifting or moving equipment that fits for your situation. The right equipment for the job is one that is in good working order, you are trained on and know how to use properly, requires the minimum amount of force and allows you to maintain a strong, neutral posture, and avoids the need to manually load heavy or awkward items onto or off of the equipment. For example, a cart or dolly may reduce the risk when carrying, but you may still have to lift to load them up. When using equipment that requires you to push or pull it, your technique is important for reducing risk of arm, shoulder, or back injury. It takes more force to get something moving than it does to keep it moving. Your technique is most critical at the initial push or pull. In most cases, pushing is preferred over pulling, but this will depend on how the wheels or casters are set up on the specific equipment and whether you can see over or past the load. Equipment with a hinging handle is designed to be pulled. For pushing, if the device has four swiveling wheels, lock the front wheels to assist with steering. Straighten the wheels and test the load to make sure that it will move before you begin to push. Keep your arms bent and elbows close to the body. Place your hands at about waist height. Keep the normal curvature of the spine and drive your hips forward with your legs. This lets you use the larger muscles of your legs and body weight rather than just arm strength. Gradually increase force until the object moves. For pulling, if the device has four swiveling wheels that can be locked in place, lock the rear wheels to assist with steering. Align the wheels and test the load first to make sure that it will move. Pulling a wagon style handle that can be managed with one hand, bring the handle forward to one side of the body and bend at the elbow. Pulling with two hands, Ensure a clear path and walk backwards with arms bent and elbows close to the body. This concludes the video, Pushing, Pulling and Use of Handling Equipment, part of the Trucking Safety, Moving and Lifting series. Always stop, think and then act. If you have any questions or are looking for more information, please contact the Trucking Safety Council of BC.